What's going on guys? Trav and Mark here. So we're going to do a Star Wars discussion, much like our DCEU and MCU discussion, except this will be this will be our <coughs> Lucasfilms extended universe discussion. Yeah, this, this we're not even hundred percent what we're going to discuss. So this this could touch on anything from any film to any book to future films and characters. I don't. This has got basically <coughs> our first improv, like thoughtless rant, basically. So so first off, should we go with some... oh, basic and yeah, spoilers and all. As oh I yeah, said. definitely gonna be spoilers. Um, first off, should we discuss Luke Skywalker and his possibility of maybe going dark side in this movie, or what do you think? I about? wonder <coughs> if it's even like... like it's the it's, last Jedi I'm talking about. I wonder if it's even the dark side. I wonder if it's just like something completely... Like, like the gray side, what people are saying or whatever. I don't even know. <coughs> I, I, I feel know like that the Jedi have lost their way somewhere along the lines. And Luke has realized that, and now he's, well, obviously in this Jedi temple. Well, that's... These, these old books, Lord knows what are in these books. Like. <clears throat> I do be I do believe uh, that uh, the, these new Star Wars movies that Disney is making, they're going to... I find, um, with the two that we've seen so far, that being Rogue One and uh, Episode Force 7, the um... I do believe that uh, they're gonna they're trying their best to connect those previous two trilogies together as much they can. Yeah. With that first movie being <clears throat> so much like the original, but with uh, this but movie with, really but feels with Rogue like it's One, its own thing. but with Rogue One having uh, like it takes place like days, maybe like hours before A New Hope starts. Minutes, seconds. Like it's like, like it's it literally all like, it ends, it when ends it right starts. there. But like as it begins, it's like you but when you start this okay, we're in the we're in the original trilogy universe right now. That's how like I look at it. But then whenever what's his name came in, uh <clears throat> Organa or whatever his name is, uh Leia's stepfather yeah. in in Rogue One that's whenever it hit me in the theater. I was like, "Wow, I did not expect that." Like, so they're gonna it's go tying in all. They're right. gonna tie in as much they can, and with uh, the Battlefront Two trailer that just came out, I'm wondering what else we're gonna get with that. Like, with the Darth Maul showing up, and st what if he's still alive? As you said, you said that they said uh, it's all canon. apparently it's canon. It's canon. So it is so. inside the Star Wars universe, as far as as far as we know, anyway. So like, and what's I noticed there? Yoda in the trailer. So, is Yoda alive or dead? I seen the theory on YouTube and the internet that uh, when Ray's training in the Last Jedi trailer, it almost looks like it's Yoda up on the little rock. I didn't notice and, that at all, <coughs> and you said it, man. It and, looks and, like it, but it, it could it just be the rock. rock. Honestly, it's probably just I was, the rock. And, but, and I was looking at. It, I'm like, I don't see anything. I do not see anything. And then I seen it on YouTube. Somebody zoomed in on it. And oh my god, yeah, it looks like Yoda's sitting look there. It does like it could be, but yeah, look, it's probably just the rocks, and they're probably just doing it as an Easter egg. Maybe it's a statue of Yoda that Luke, Luke made, and he uses that to help him communicate with Yoda, because it makes him feel less crazy. I don't, I don't know. It very well could be. Because, <clears throat> uh, much like the second Star Wars film, or technically the fifth, I guess, how Luke trains with Yoda in that film... Ray's going to be training with Luke, but it's just, it's such a different scenery, and it's its going to feel like its own film, but it is still going to touch base to that original trilogy, but it's going to be its own thing, whereas The Force Awakens felt like it was, it felt like it was its own thing, but it almost felt like it was a big callback to the original yes. film, and now they're going to move forward with... As I heard you say <clears throat> in, the, in the past, you've said this before, you said that The Force Awakens... Is the closest thing a movie will ever get to being a remake without without being a remake. remake? Yeah, yeah. It's it, <clears throat> as you said. It's basically a lot of visual callbacks. Yeah, and but they still somehow made it feel fresh and new. But it's still so much alike the original. And I I, I love that. I love when they can do stuff like that. <laughs> <clears throat> um, Star Wars, sorry. Well, oh, Hayden Christensen, you want to talk about that? Yeah, uh, I guess he showed up at the celebration. 
And I've been hearing rumors he's in one of these films, which I heard that about The Force Awakens, and now I heard it more strongly about The Last Jedi, but I, I'm wondering if, if, if it's that, or maybe are they secretly developing a Star Wars movie with well, that's, loosely um, based around... Dark that's what Vader? I was wondering. Have you seen any of those new videos of him at, that's, at this recent... Uh, I've only seen pictures. He, like, man, he's very, 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 very nervous. And, like, you can I, tell, like, he's scared. I would he's, love like, he's to wandering. see him redeem himself as Darth Vader. But, like, but... if I was that, and then, like, it's all said and done, and I'm not Darth Vader anymore, I'd just be like, okay, I'm going to go, and I'm going to make my appearance, I'm going to have fun. But he came as if he was, like, scared shitless. He, didn't, he seemed as though he didn't know what was going to happen. <clears throat> because I heard it was his first like Star Wars Celebration Con or well, whatever since uh, him, Attack of the Clones. Him being out of Star Wars for so long could make him grasp what he did wrong with his character, and then I personally don't to, blame it on, on him. I kind no, of just blame yeah, no, you can't. George Lucas. That's a lot mm -hmm. of movies. There's stupid things happening, and you're like, why would he do that? And you kind of look bad on the actor. But when you really think about it, it's. It's not his call to do that. He's just there to look good for the camera. Like, he's doing what they want him to do. Well, that's what I say about uh, Superman. <clears throat> I find that uh, Henry Cavill could be the perfect Superman. He is an excellent Superman. But uh, he, they don't give him enough to do. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's the same way with So I, with that, I with heard... Oh, what's her name? Moz? Is that it? Moz Kanata. I heard yeah. she's back in the movie. I'm kind of curious... Well, she she was pissed off at uh she was pissed at Han. <clears throat> Han's dead now, so where could that lead? But to? she still Look does have that relationship with Chewie, so maybe they'll be flying. And Ray, yeah. So she was present when Ray. She's the one who said uh, Darth Vader owned this lightsaber, and then Luke owns this lightsaber, and, and now it calls to you. Yeah. But and <clears throat> I heard a theory it says there. Something it's like how she worded lines. it. How she worded it. Um, I think that's what made me think that she's related to Luke. Yeah. But because she said and now and not but now. Yeah. She said and now calls to you instead of but now. It could so just be like, calling who, out to who, anyone. Though, who, like. who is Ray to Luke? That's, that's one of my biggest mysteries. <clears throat> we were discussing earlier that Ray could very well just be... A student that Luke saved when Kylo could have been slaying all the other students. Like, maybe she was so young that she wasn't an actual student, but she was a student. She wasn't even she was a Padawan yet. She was a student to be. She had, she had it in her genes or whatever. And he just seen Kylo Ren slaying all these people. And his last bit of effort to save the Jedi was <clears throat> to save this little girl. And that would explain when he sees her at the end of The Force Awakens, that emotion in his face. When she hands him his lightsaber, that's not emotion because of his lightsaber. That's emotion like, you're I, here, I don't want you to be here, but you're here and now I gotta train you. Like, so many emotions running through him. Like, there is some sort of connection and I just, I want to know what that is. Well, uh, it was Daisy Ridley, she said that at the convention. <clears throat> uh, she said, basically, this movie, you'll expect, um... It's like whenever you meet your heroes and mm -hmm. and they're not who you think yeah. who you think they are going to be. I really like the idea of Luke going Sith, but I I don't know. Like it would I be think... so cool if Kylo Ren. I think Kylo Ren's gonna come to the light side. Ray may do a flip to the dark side, but I don't really see that happen. What I that's I personally it. that's what I mean. I, I don't think Disney will do that with their female. <clears throat> but I feel like Luke. I feel like he has the potential to be... Darth Vader. He could be he the, the hero-turned-villain in this movie, and then he could go, like, super Sith for the last movie, and it takes Kylo Ren and Rey both to defeat him. And I think that would and be... And it even and takes... And he'd be doing no, crazy no, it even, no, stuff. No, it even takes, like... It, that's why that's what would make like Hayden Christensen come back. They need like Anakin's Force Ghost. They need Yoda's Force Ghost. They need Obi Wan's Force <clears> Ghost. <throat> they need everybody to fucking take Luke on. Like uh, that. I just, that I think could that, be. I, I never think thought that of that. Would be unreal. But that I would just... actually be. I never thought of that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think it would be unreal. But I just it it all boils down to what are their plans with Snoke, 
And does he have anything to do with Luke? I or will he have anything to do with Luke? Or is he just a pawn in this thing? Ah, uh, that so. makes my theory even better. Because I do believe, <clears throat> I, he doesn't, I know you don't. But I personally think that Snoke is Windu. Because I think that's I'm why Windu... Towards he's that's why that's why Wendu had the purple lightsaber because if you mix red and blue, you get purple. Balancing the light and the dark side of the force that could lead into Luke's theory. That's why Luke is going. He went on this path and he found Mace Windu. Yeah. Mace Windu. Mace Windu is now Snoke. What happened? He could he could look like Snoke because what happened to the Emperor when he zapped himself? He turned into like <clears throat> this monster. Yeah. What if the so same thing happened to him? Didn't he get his hands cut off? I'm, I'm not sure. I, I swear, I'd have to rewatch, but I thought he got his hands cut off and then pushed out the window. He got pushed out the window. I think Anakin may have cut his hands off. That's how he saved him. But I, 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 believe, I think like he thinks that Snoke might be Mace Windu. I'm, I'm more pushing towards that he is Darth Plagueis, and I, I think Plagueis created Vader, and they look so much alike. And it, even if you compare Snoke to, uh to Vader when he was dying in that in Return of the Jedi. If you compare their faces, there are similar scars. It's just Snoke looks like he's taken way more hits. I'm, I'm on board with that as well. <clears throat> but I'm more leaning towards Plagueis, and I think Plagueis, when he created Vader, he had to use some of his own DNA, so Vader essentially was a clone of him. Yeah. And that's why I think they look similar. And Snoke and Vader look similar, so I think Snoke is Plagueis. And yeah, it, and, I I am. That's my secondary. And go, even uh, if I were to, what's his face? Palpatine. He says he killed uh, Plagueis or whatever. He slashed him in the face with his saber. That would explain. It would just. It fits so good for it to be Plagueis. I want it to be, but I just. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, that's our cue to to cut the video now, though. I think. But yeah, that's the. Uh, Star Wars thing. I actually had fun with that. You yeah, gave me some too. good ideas, man. We'll, we'll come back with another Star Wars video, I think, because we didn't even touch... Like, there's so, so much more stuff we have to talk about, but we gotta go, so... But yeah, uh, all good, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Like and subscribe if you like our content. And share. Share with your friends. Yeah. Because, like, we'd love it. We, we, need, we need more subs. <laughs> <laughs> Take her easy, guys. May the force be with thee.